you skywalkers out there, thanks for coming along. This is Alpha 3, Good Takes and Mistakes, Episode 3, The Vanoirs. And you've seen it in the intro, it's more about the weather than the Vanoirs. And just in front of me, there's another weather phenomena coming up. Uh, there is a massive convergence today uh, along the Italian border. And the convergence, two air masses are going to meet. On the right side, we have the Mediterranean influenced humid warm air coming up from the Po Basin. And on the left side, coming in Atlantic influenced fresh air. And along the convergence line, these air masses really react. And the clouds actually, they look really sick, but it's very reactive, very active air, and you can find a lot of lift there and this is what I do this is why I'm flying along there uh, in the morning we discussed with Klaus Ullmann the weather and the weather forecast uh, promised uh, rain showers outspreading clouds coming up I was not too concerned because the weather forecast was always too wet in the last couple of days and we had good thermals at the moment. This is the sky where the weather is coming from, so make up your mind. What do you think about the weather? Here you see the convergence line. Um, the cloud base actually in the convergence line was 4,700 meters. And so, as I said, I was not too concerned at the moment. To get you into the flight, like always, I show you an insert to tell you where I'm at at the moment. Um, so here you can see the big valley on the bottom is the Mudane Valley. The big valley on top, this is the Osta Valley in between, this is the Vanoise. Uh, you see Lac de Monsigny, this is, you remember, episode 2 when I was really low there. And uh, the red line along the ridge, this is the convergence line we've seen already. And the green uh, line is my flight track. I want to point out especially the airfields, because if you have incoming weather, rain showers, maybe to come, I like to have more than one landing option because the weather can easily cut off one of the landing options. So on the left we have Albaville. If you are close to Mont Blanc, sometimes you have to go, have to have the possibility to go out to Albaville. On the bottom you have Solier in the Modane Valley, and on the top right you have Aosta. The cloud base is at 4,700 meters. This is unbelievable. The weather looks not too bad. I mean, the convergence line looks always sick. But to the west, it is not too bad. I should have stayed actually along the convergence line, but because of the Gran Paradiso airspace issue, I decided to go to the Mont Blanc. I think this is a good turning point for me and there are still clouds to come up so it looks good to go there. The wind speed is picking up at the moment so we had strong westerly winds coming in and uh, but at that moment I'm not really concerned I go for these clouds and they look not too bad. You see this lake coming up on the right side. Uh, just a couple of kilometers further north, there will be the first rain shower in less than 50 minutes. But at that stage, to me, everything looks fine. I have no reasons to doubt that it is a good idea to cross to the Mont Blanc. The clouds to come still look very good. The problem was a little bit 
that I was just that I'm just too silly to find the lift under these clouds. Maybe because of the wind, the wind really picked up um, in speed and I have problems to find some lift here. My intention is not to cross the Aosta Valley, but I'm crossing the Aosta Valley right now. Down left you see Courmayeur. This is the Italian city in the upper Aosta Valley and this is the intended cloud. This is the cloud where I want to go, where I need some lift. This cloud is on the border to Switzerland, so I'm already close to the Valles. The pyramid on the left side, this is the Grand Joras, one of the, one of the three great north faces of the Alps, Eiger, Matterhorn, the Grand Joras. Left of the Grand Joras this is the Mont Blanc. And finally, I can find some uh, lift here. And you, you see the sky, it really turned a bit darker. So I have the feeling that I have to speed up in order to get back home. And in front of me, this is the developing rain shower. It looked not too bad because it's, it seems to be isolated, uh, but it's still in the way uh, back to Solier. So I try to fly rather fast so that I won't have a problem with that rain shower. crossing the Aosta Valley again. I come now very close to the rain shower. I'm glad that I make some altitude or that I made some altitude a couple of minutes ago. And now I have to decide, do I go for the ridge in the middle or do I go to the ridge on the right side? I decide to go onto the right ridge because from that ridge on it seemed to me easier to connect to these clouds at the end of the ridge. So I pushed hard and fast uh, along the rain shower. Uh, so I try to pass this rain shower rather fast. There was quite a bit of downwash here. Another reason to pass this area rather fast. The rain shower was not too bad, so it seemed isolated. And here you can see it on the insert. This is the rain shower. I try to get past the rain shower rather fast, try to get on that ridge. My option, uh, Aosta was always available. Albaville was available because the rain shower was isolated. But my goal is to clear the Col de Isaron and then uh, the Modane Valley and Solier is open. So my d idea is actually to go back to the convergence line uh, and this should be the fastest route back into the Brion Sonnets. And here I'm trying a little bit uh, of dynamic soaring along the ridge. There was not much to find but I can hold myself along the ridge and I'm going step by step. So I was confident to find some lift as the sun comes back into the slope of uh, that ridge here. And this is how it turned out. I can find some lift here and I climb up to the cloud base here. Here you see the lake again. 
And this is the look back to the convergence line and this is where I want to go. I already at the convergence line now and I try to go for the um, Col de Sommelier. Col de Sommelier is just a couple of kilometers ahead along the convergence line. And the problem was now that the weather in the Briossonais already uh, turned to the worst. There were a lot of rain showers reported from other pilots. So I tried to fly really fast to get back before the Briossonais get closed by the weather. A senseless turn. So this was Romeo Papa. He's ahead of us and giving a little weather update. So the Briosenes has some rain, but still good lift to find. And I'm pushing along the convergence line. Usually you find the best lift where it looks really sick. This is why I go there. Try to find some lift as I cross the Col de Sommelier. Uh, you see it still looks unsafe a little bit. It's hard to predict what the weather is doing. So I try to be as fast as possible. And I try to be on the other side as high as possible. Just to leave all the options on the table. This is why I try to get some lift here. This is above Badonecchia and uh, going high in Badonecchia makes it easier for the next step. Here in front of me you can see the Roche Brun. This is the pyramid above my nose of the glider and there's a rain shower coming up and I want to go to the Roche Brun and just press along the rain shower uh, right of me and it looks not too bad, so this was a good compromise not to go too far away to the left and uh, just be fast on the way back to Ceres Labati. So here's the Roche Brun coming up. And just five minutes later, the sky looks much friendlier and and this is very fast changing weather but at the moment i'm really glad that i'm back here and here you can see how the ls5 finds the thermal so the left wing goes up and then just turn to the left the ls5 is really great uh, it gives you a lot of feedback she's really telling you where the thermal is so it's very very nice to fly in the thermals So I go up to the cloud base and try to get closer to the airfield to judge the weather. On the right side you can see the Lac de Serpocon coming up and this was my goal. I want to go to the Lac de Serpocon because from there you can see the weather towards Ceres Labati. And this is the place where I want to decide if I go a little bit further south or if I turn back to the airfield. So here is the Lac de Serpocon coming up. Uh, still easy to find good lift. I calmed down now because the way to the airfield Ceres Labati is open, everything is fine and I even can extend the flight a little bit further to the south. So I came from the Mont Blanc, from the Vanoise, down to the Mont Ventoux, and it was another great flight. 
I had really intense moments in this flight due to the weather but actually because of the weather information from all the other pilots um, and some good decisions and some bad decisions I could make my way back to the airfield uh, I'm thinking at the moment to those who are flying in the southern hemisphere to you lucky ones always great flights and safe landings and thanks for walking the french skies with me this is alpha 3